I was always told from a young age that I could set my mind to anything that I wanted to. And I knew that I wanted to be a mom. And so I've taken on this journey. Tonight we're sharing an inspiring story of a Spokane foster mom. Katie Strickland is blind and has worked through many hurdles, but she's never backed down. She and her late husband were the first blind couple to receive a license to become foster parents in the state of Washington. And getting there was not easy. Strickland faced roadblocks. But she continued to push forward. New at 6, our Vanessa Perez has her story. Strickland and her husband Ryan were eager to become foster parents. A lengthy process because of their blind status, but it didn't stop them. Eventually, they received their first child placement. It was short-lived. Five days later, Ryan passed away. I was taking a phone call from my mom and was out of the room for 90 seconds. And when I came back, he was gone. Strickland took the next several months to focus on herself. It gave me a chance to reflect that Ryan and I had worked so hard to just get approved. All the hurdles we had to jump through that I just couldn't throw that all away. When life got tough, Strickland kept going because she wanted to do whatever it took to be a mom. Strickland started the process again, this time to file as a single foster parent. Now, a seventh-month-old and three-year-old bring her joy. We can't show their faces because of confidentiality reasons. I love being a mom, and I wouldn't trade it for the world, even on the hard days, because it makes the good days just that much sweeter. She hopes to inspire others to become foster parents or even give back to foster children. Strickland relies on the bus and friends to get her children to school and to doctor's appointments, and that has its own challenges. Embrace Washington, a local organization, is raising money so that Strickland can use rideshare apps this winter. She takes three to four buses just to pick up her children and arrive home, all while having to load and unload the stroller. It's a lot, and it's overwhelming. But we do what we got to do because that's how we get around. Strickland's journey continues as she's off to college next year. Reporting in Spokane, Vanessa Perez, 4 News Now.